Alveolar cells are those cells that make the lining of the alveolar space. Alveoli, singular is alveolus, are the air sacs in which gas exchange occurs between lung and the blood. These alveoli are similar to grapes that is surrounded by network of capillaries. Here we see the type 1 and type 2 alveolar cells and the other cells in the area, all of which has clinical significance. Type 1 alveolar cells, also called type 1 pneumocytes, cover most of the alveolar epithelial surface. They are flat and thin, thus allowing gas to diffuse across from the alveolus to the blood and from the blood to the alveolus. These cells cover 95% of the alveolar surface area. They are non-proliferative and cannot be divided. On the other hand, we see type 2 alveolar cells or type 2 pneumocytes, which is the other epithelial cells of the alveolus. These cells, the type 2 alveolar cells, are cuboidal. They have a lot of mitochondria and they are metabolically active. They secrete substance that has important role in preventing alveolar collapse. This material, the substance, is called surfactant. It has a lot of lipid and works to prevent alveoli to collapse and shrink during expiration. Type 2 alveolar alveoli, type 2 alveoli, type 2 alveolar cells are able to divide and can differentiate into type 1 and type 2 pneumocytes when they divide. They make something similar to stem cells in the epithelium. And due to their shape, they only occupy 5% of the alveolar surface area. Surfactant production doesn't start until late during intrauterine development. A baby born prematurely has risk of developing inadequate surfactant and thus having lung collapse immediately after birth. This condition is called respiratory distress syndrome of newborn or also it's called hyaline membrane disease of newborn. The disease has incidence of 60% in baby born before 28 weeks and is more among mothers with diabetes, multiple birth and previous cesarean sections. These are risk factors for having this disease. The infant is normal at birth, but within few hours develops increasing respiratory distress. And we treat these babies with oxygen and synthetic surfactants. The other cells we see here are the capillary endothelial cells that line the blood vessels and also erythrocytes, the red blood cells and the alveolar macrophages. Alveolar macrophages are part of the immune system. They help engulfing bacteria that might escape into the alveoli.